Welcome back to Newsline this Friday. New Speaker of the House, uh, Congressman Mike Johnson, is testing Democrats and President Joe Biden after the House approved $14.5 billion in military aid last night for Israel. This package requires that the emergency aid be offset with cuts in government spending elsewhere, like cutting billions from the IRS that Democrats approved just last year and that Biden signed into law as a way to supposedly go after tax cheats. Let's welcome in now Congressman Kevin Hearn of Oklahoma to discuss this military aid deal for Israel. Congressman, a pleasure to see you this Friday. Thank you so much for being with us on Newsline. It's great to be with you. Well, we just saw one of our reporters there on the front lines. Uh, clearly, the aid is needed. It's needed now. Uh, but this administration has Blinken over there talking about not just, uh, you know, a pause, a humanitarian pause, but handing over more humanitarian aid uh, to the folks that are still shooting rockets at Israelis. What is your take on the administration's uh, messaging to our biggest ally, Israel? Well, it's certainly confusing for everyone uh, to see what they're saying about pausing. They want these repetitive pauses for people to get out. There's been a lot of uh, you know, insight that's put in that says a lot of the people who wanted to get out have already left, and which is important to note. Certainly Israel knows how to deal with this situation in Gaza certainly better than we do, them being on the ground. We're getting a lot of military experts that have uh, analyzed what they're doing. But when you have a Hamas who is putting their headquarters in tunnels that are under schools, under hospitals, under apartments, buildings, the only way to root them out is to go directly after those facilities. And the people there are, you know, have been oblivious to what Hamas has done, but it just shows you what they're doing with human shields. And we have to use this money to go and be specific on what Israel needs to continue this battle to eliminate Hamas from the surface of the earth. We know a lot of the package also is money for the Iron Dome, which uh, is definitely um, a lifesaver there right now uh, during the war. Congressman, before we let you go, I do want to get your reaction to uh, House Oversight Chairman Congressman James Comer. He told us here on Newsmax that he is actually now poised to serve subpoenas to uh, extended members of the Biden family over this influence peddling allegation. You know, there's checks now for loan repayments that have been discovered by all the financial documents that Comer has fought for. He actually told us, quote, we built a case that will win in court and we've made it all the way to personal bank records of the Bidens. Do you uh, believe that we will be coming very close to maybe not even an inquiry, but an impeachment vote for our sitting president? Well, certainly being on Ways and Means, we were the first persons to get the access to the whistleblowers to start bringing this evidence forward to both the House Judiciary and House Oversight Comer's uh, committee. And what you're seeing is uh, both of them follow the evidence to unravel what's been going on with the influence peddling. But I think it's important for all your viewers to know, we wouldn't know any of this if House Republicans hadn't gotten the majority back in January. This would have been swept under the rug. And that's what uh, Congressman Jordan is going after, is what the agencies have done and what they have hidden. And what Congressman Comer is doing with House Oversight is going directly after the families. And he surrounded all of the family members, all the 20 plus LLCs that were put together. And unfortunately, their grandkids involved in this. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's really sad to see what the president of the United States is, is, appears to have his fingerprints on. Well, we'll see in the coming days. Those subpoenas could be coming out in just hours. Congressman Kevin Hearn, thanks for joining us this Friday. Good to see you, sir. Thank you.